So I get so many questions on my social media about how I did my hair for Fab Life. You know, all those cool braids and fun hairstyles? Well, I couldn't do them on my own. The truth is, if I'm left to my own devices, my hair looks like this. So today, I have my very, very favorite person in the whole wide world, Susie, who did my hair and makeup for Fab Life. Hi! I'm so excited you're here. Me too, I cannot wait. We are gonna have some fun today. We're actually talking about braids. We're gonna do three different braids. Yep. It's a really great tool to use actually while your hair's growing out to sort of tuck those kind of uneven pieces away and I'll show you all kinds of good stuff. Cool, well, should we get started? All right, so what braids are we doing today? We are gonna do a regular French braid, so I'm gonna start super basic and show you how to do a French braid and kind of how to incorporate it into short hair. Then we're gonna do a Dutch braid, box braid, whatever you wanna call the it. The Kim K braid. The Kim K, Ruby Rose braid. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna move on to a crown braid, which is just really different and really pretty, and it's kind of a one-sided French braid. I'm so excited. All right, let's get started. So for braids, you need very few things. You need a clip, a comb, some little rubber bands, and some matte bobby pins, and some hairspray. So we're gonna get started on the regular French braid. Okay. I love pulling Leah's hair away from her face because I like to see her face. This is where you use your trusty little comb edge to make that straight line. Because you don't want to see a ziggity zaggity line. That would not be cute in a braid. And then Leah has these little baby hairs that stick out. We're going to get those later with the hairspray. Those are probably from having a baby. Something or from overprocessing my hair <laughs> and it all breaking off. Well, you Either. said it, I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to take the front bit of her hair and break this one little section into three little parts. And all you're gonna do is weave them. So you're gonna pick up a little bit of hair with each one. And you wanna make sure that the pieces you pick up are really close to the braid. Once you get down to the bottom, you take one of your little baby rubber bands, uh, you put it in your fingers, and you just twist it around a couple times. So we can't leave it like that because that is just not cute. So you take one of your little matte bobby pins and we're gonna hide it underneath and we are going to just pin it in the braid to some of the hair that's there and because the pin is matte, it's gonna hold it. And that's one side and now I'm gonna go do the other side. Make sure it all kinda lays right. And voila. Okay. The next braid we're gonna do is the Dutch braid or the box braid, whatever you wanna call it. It's I feel like we don't know if it's Dutch or box. So it's the Kim K braid. Yeah, Kim Kardashian, <laughs> yes. And the thing about this braid is that it needs to be very tight in order for the box to show up on the top. So it's like an upside down French braid. So you're gonna be doing the same things, except the hairs are gonna go under instead of over. And the most important thing about this mm. is making sure your part is center. So you're gonna guide from the nose. So you're gonna take the face and start with the nose and you just wanna track that right up into the hair and make sure that that is really centered. Because that will annoy you if you do someone's whole braid and it's a little to the left. <laughs> it's like a picture frame that just needs to be straightened yeah, out a little. Yeah, and you can't straighten it once you start. So, and then the same thing, you'll start back here and you'll just follow it all the way down. So you're gonna start in the front. You can like rake the hair a little bit so that you can make sure it's smooth. And your guide is gonna be that you're gonna aim sort of back and diagonal to the head. And then you're gonna break it into three pieces like you did for the French braid. But now instead of going over the hairs, you're gonna go under the hairs. So pick up another hair from the edge here and go underneath. Just gonna crisscross and pin it right back here. Okay, so this next braid is, well, we're calling it a crown braid. It's really a one sided French braid. So you're gonna French braid with the right hand and skip with the left hand. So I like to do it in a crown because it looks fun. It's Grecian, it's really yeah, different. So pretty. Fab. So that's what we're gonna do. And the thing about this braid is you wanna hide the beginning because you're making a crown over the front of the hair here. 
So you wanna hide where you're starting it. So we're gonna kind of bury it in this little area right here. And this is what I'm talking about, the one-sided thing. You take it in three pieces and you're gonna just start a regular braid. And the right hand is gonna scoop and get the hair and the left hand is gonna just braid. And the fun thing about this is you can kind of loosen off the top piece if you want to. This one doesn't have to be quite as tight and you can kind of make it grow on the top where the crown is. A little rubber band, a little twisty twist. Okay, so obviously, don't want it sticking straight out like that. So we're gonna tuck this piece right in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our three braid tutorial and make sure you guys follow Emmy nominated hairstylist and makeup artist and more importantly, my fabulous friend, Susie Moldovan on social media. Susie, what else is going on? I also own a company called Flybrow. It's a mobile brow business, so follow that too. You gotta get those brows on fleek, right? That's what the kids are saying? <laughs> yes. I don't know. You guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.